Using the Kami extension is really cool because it lets you write on top of PDFs. So let me show you how you'll use this and how you can use it with assignments that your teacher gives you in Google Classroom. So the first thing you need to do is get the extension. So just Google Kami extension. When you see it from the chrome.google.com, click that. It will open up in the Chrome Web Store and then click Add to Chrome and click Add Extension. It will put the Kami Extension button right up here. When you're ready to use it, you're going to have to click the button and the first time it's going to ask you to either log in or sign up. So we are going to use our Google sign in so that it can be used with Google Classroom as well. So choose your account and put in your information and then give Cami permission to work with your Google account. Okay, then you're gonna choose one of these. You're gonna pick that you're a student and then you're gonna click finish. Okay, so now you're ready to use Cami. And so let's go into your Google Classroom so that you can see your assignment from your teacher. So I'm just going to type in classroom.google.com. Then I'm going to go into my class and my classwork tab. And then I'm going to choose the assignment. So click view assignment and then right here is your assignment. So if you click on it, it will open up in a new window and you'll have an option to open it with Kami. You may have other options here as well. So just click the down arrow and look for the option that says open with Kami. The first time you use Kami, you're going to have to authorize Google Drive to work with Kami. So click the button, choose your account, scroll down and give permission, and then you're ready to go. You'll only have to do that the first time. So now you have your work here, the regular PDF worksheet, and you have all of your tools over here that you can use. The main ones that you're gonna use are probably the text box. You might draw, you might use shapes, or even the eraser. It's very simple to use. So let's say you worked this problem out on a piece of paper and you're ready to write your answer. All you have to do is click the text box, and if you want to, you can change the size or the color, and then click where you want to start typing. And then you'll type your answer there. The more you type, the bigger the text box will get. You can also move the text box if you want to. When you're ready to answer the next question, just move your mouse and click again. It will open up another text box. Anywhere you click will open up a text box. So let's say you get to a problem like this where it says circle any division problem that have compatible numbers. Well, in this case, you might could use either the drawing tool. So this time, maybe I'll pick purple. And then all I have to do is use my mouse to draw a circle. I could even use a shape tool instead. So maybe I use the circle shape. I can change the color as well. So you continue working in this way using the tools to mark all of your answers. When you're ready, you can click Save and click Save Now just to make sure that it's saved. Then back in your Google Classroom, when you're finished with it, all you have to do is press Submit. So I'm going to close this preview window and then I'm back in my Google Classroom and I can click Turn In. It says, do you want to turn it in? Just click Yep turning it in. Now your teacher will get your assignment and when your teacher opens it, she'll see all of the things that you wrote or did on your work. If you have any questions, be sure and ask your teacher.